Prism Trail versus Prism Trail Torch. Differences coming up. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with my buddy Stefan Rock, pro mountain biker, won every race in the history of the world. I've been racing for what? The better part of two decades have now? You, have you ever lost? Have I ever lost? Yeah, I mean, I've lost. Yeah, Absolutely. He's lost a couple. Yeah, you know. But yeah. I think, was that third place in uh, California State Endurance Championship? 2017, that's is right. That, is that's that your... I'm actually on par for 2019. I'm, oh. gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm sitting in third right now for the oh. series. So California State, baby. He's a fast, yeah. fast man. All He's right. a fast, fast man. But don't <laughs> let him fool you. He can jump off a thing or two as well. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of endurance skills. Uh, so we are here with Stefan's expertise on mountain biking. And actually, you're pretty into sunglasses. I've known oh, you I for like... It. 10 years and you've had a different pair on top of your head every time I've seen Ever you. Ever since I was a kid. Yeah, you're oh, like yeah. way into sunglasses and I'm sunglass Rob, obviously. <laughs> and I'm into mountain, I wonder if I'm into mountain biking as much as you are into sunglasses. I think it's kind and of you're like you're into a sunglasses very, as much as I'm into mountain it's biking. A very this is situation. why This is why this works. So we both have really strong opinions on mountain bike lenses and we're both pretty much in agreement that Prism Trail historically has been the best mountain bike lens that's ever happened. Absolutely. And now there's this new Prism uh, Trail Torch that's out and definitely worth a discussion and a conversation. So this might be a little bit longer of a video. If you want to get a little bit more concise with the differences, check out the blog below. But I think we're just going to kind of wrap about like both of these lenses. So. Um, Stefan, I think you might agree with me that when Prism Trail came out, it was the first time I felt like a mountain bike lens came out that was an asset, which was a positive. And let me kind of explain. Um, mountain biking, as you know, is so many variables, so many types of dirt, so many types of conditions, sun, overcast, even when it's sunny, there's coverage, like it's hard to see. Like part of mountain biking yeah. is seeing and actually becoming a better mountain biker is learning where to look and where to see and mm -hmm. vision has so much to do with mountain biking that um, the right lens choice really affects things and before trail came out, I feel like the best you can do was stay neutral, where there, it wasn't really enhancing, just because the, the technology wasn't quite there yet. Even the older Oakley lenses like Persimmon were, was kind of the right color, but it didn't do its job as far as yeah. like giving you an advantage almost. Absolutely. And when Trail came out, it's like, when you first put on your first pair of Trails, it's like, what just, like it's like a little, it's, it's a little, a little intense. intense. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, what just happened? It's kind of wild. And that intensity is giving you just unbelievable contrast being able to see the differences in the terrain the differences in the uh, depth perception and rock gardens at speed mm -hmm. i mean you go way faster than me why don't you talk about I that mean, just quickly I, th I think the whole idea with you know when the trail lens came out and i've been actually racing on the trail now for the for about three years um, and you don't want to hesitate. You know, that's the last thing you want to do when you're mountain biking. You just want to be able to, to see the obstacles and just go for it, right? Fast is smooth, smooth that, is fast. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, So anyways, you know, when I when I first tried the uh, the trail on, it's great when you're in shadows, even going in and out of, you know, some sunlight, rock gardens to kind of even like muddier terrain. You can really see ruts a lot better, you know, and, and you're everything when you're riding, if I want to corner off a little rock, I could see that distinctly and just plant my wheel right where I need to put it to really just maintain speed out of that turn, right? Yeah. So absolutely an amazing, uh, when, the, when the trail lens came out, for me it was a, a game changer. Game changer, yeah. okay, so yeah. now, this is amazing, why well, have something different? Uh, Prism Trail Torch has come out and I think there's been um, some need for something that's not quite as intense, not quite as brightening, not quite, and, and believe it or not, the visible light transmission like on the machine, like measuring which lens is darker, they're like within a percentage, so I would call it equal. Um, but this feels like a darker lens, and I think there's some conditions, some parts of the country or the world where the regular trail just felt like a little bit too much and you weren't getting enough kind of like sun protection even though they're both 100 percent uv mm -hmm. and i know you spent the last four or five days testing the torch lens and kind of what do you think about that lens well so you know the, the one thing i liked about the torch is they brought down the contrast just a hair yeah and so when you you find yourself in real bright sunny conditions it's not overwhelming you know sometimes when you're going in and out of like a if you're in, in a tree uh in the shadows of trees 
the, the trail is probably the better choice. But the torch here, if you come out in the bright sunlight, which is where we were testing yeah. the other day, um, I thought it, it was better. It's, it's not as, oh my God, this wild intensity. Yeah. Um, you know, so I thought it was great. It also still has just enough contrast to where if you are in kind of maybe a cloudier day, something like that, it's still gonna give you that high contrast. You're still gonna be able to see the obstacles that you need to see to, to you know, ride faster. It's, it's definitely still a prism lens. If you're not sure how prism technology works, we have a few videos describing that. I'm sure there'll be links in the description or that little thing up there. Anyways, um, the the torch lens I think was made for maybe kind of where we are, Southern California. It's not really foresty. There's not a lot of um, coverage. It's kind of open. It's kind of rocky sometimes. And in those conditions, trail was a little bit too intense for some people. Yeah. And the torch just kind of, it's just kind of a little bit just a little bit. So but you do. still have the prism technology, which increases contrast, which was specifically designed for mountain biking, for the colors that we see, for the conditions that we deal with. So you're still getting all the pops and everything, but you're just sacrificing a little bit extra pop for a little bit more kind of like a smoother, yeah. like soothing kind you, of feeling. You know, what's hard, I think, with, with making a great lens for mountain biking is that you're never in one light condition <laughs> yeah, when like... you're mountain biking. It's always changing, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think that this is a little bit more of a balanced lens compared to the original trail. This one's more like if it's an overcast morning, you're mm -hmm. going regular trail. If you, if you know that you're just going to be in shady areas, yes. I'm going to go regular yeah, trail. Yeah, coverage, like Always Pacific, Pacific Northwest. Pacific Northwest. Uh, I ride in Vermont completely. a little bit and it's just like, you're, yeah. you're, it's almost like, is it still sun? Like, what time is it? Like, yeah. how long have we been out here? Because yeah. it's so dark. SoCal though, I'd go torch all yeah. day long. Yeah, yeah, you go torch. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing that I'm not in love with about the torch lens is right now, it's basically uh, almost June 2019. It's not yet available in prescription. So um, at Sport RX, we do a lot of RX work and it's supposed to be coming out soon. We're hoping it comes out really soon. Um, maybe by the time you're watching this, it is available. Check all the stuff below. But for right now, it's not available in prescription. So I do wear prescription and trying to keep up with Stefan the other day, testing lenses that weren't prescription. I'm gonna blame it on that, I crashed. Yeah. But yeah. he's so fast, it was, on my wheel. it was not yeah. a good idea. <laughs> actually, there's a whole nother story there. So actually, I've been testing a couple of other lenses mountain biking. Um, believe it or not, Prism Road, even though it's specifically designed for road, has been historically really popular in Southern California for mountain bikers. Um, it's a rose-based lens and it's a little bit darker, but it's still prism, still has contrast, and it still warms things up quite a bit. And I know you wore this a lot while we were testing different frames the other day. How did you feel? I felt comfortable with it. Yeah. Um, and actually, because it was such a sunny day that yeah, day yeah. and it was hot, I, yeah. thought, I thought it was a great lens. Yeah. You know, so if you're like if, it. if it's you're more into exposed, kind of open, you want really not dark, but you're used to dark sunglasses, you have light sensitive eyes, road might be a consideration, even though it's called road and you're a mountain biker. The other thing that did you want to say fire, something? Fire road applications, possibly? Yeah, fire road applications you know, for I think sure. That'd be, that'd be good. Um, mm -hmm. The other lens that I've personally recently fell in love with for mountain biking is dark golf. I know, right? It's called dark golf. I get it. Um, it is, uh, and I actually been wearing it in the Target line, which I think um, is a super underrated mountain bike frame. Even it's supposedly a golf frame, but I have this exact setup in my prescription that I've been testing for like maybe two months now. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, dark golf on those sunny days, I've been kind of in love with. When you look through it, it's actually pretty similar to Torch for me. Um, Torch is a little bit lighter, but the lens color is really, really similar. And again, with Prism technology, you get so much of a boost. So that little corner was for you guys that are RXable, um, RX wearers. And if you are, you can always call and speak to one of our opticians and they can get you dialed in. They know this stuff inside and out. One last thing to kind of describe is the color looking through. When you're looking through regular Prism, Prism is usually a rose base, but this one's got more amber orange kind of highlights. It really pops. And on Torch, it's uh, you feel the rose a little bit more. It's yeah. less orangey, which is why I think you get some of that um, soothness, smoothiness. Well, that's that's where they, they pull out that intensity. Yeah, yeah, the intensity kind of comes from that. So that was kind of a long conversation between <laughs> trail and trail torch. Oh, one more thing, aesthetics. I mean, obviously that's important to me. Um, look good. Yeah, the um, 
torch lens kind of has a little bit more of like a reddish kind of reflective mm -hmm. kind of, of hue, yeah. yeah, when you're looking at it and the um, trail's a little bit kind of more intensey. Yeah. It's almost like a, a more purpley, almost. purpley, but isn't yeah. there like an iridescent blue green kind of thing? More reflection, I think. So yeah. here, yeah. that's regular. I don't, wanna, know, I don't know why I bent do down. Like, who who, who yeah. wore it best? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, this? you're going to wear everything better oh, yeah. than me. I don't know Just, about that, There's Stefan the Rock. His last name's really Rock. His name's a mountain biker. <laughs> How crazy is that? Um, yeah, so um, there's a lot of information for you. Uh, hopefully you found it helpful. We'd love a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, we have a lot of mountain bike eyewear content out there. Uh, a lot of it's with Stefan, so please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any questions about this stuff, if you have a comment on which prism lens has been working best for you in your conditions we'd love to hear it down in the comments section the last thing i'm going to say is stefan is an amazing pro mountain biker but he's also a mountain bike pro he has a company called zen bikes and he does um, tours and clinics and lessons here in the san diego area so if you're coming to san diego check out the sport x showroom we have beer on tap and if you need a tour guide, check out Stefan and he'll, he'll get you hooked up. There'll be a link in the description to his website. But what's your Instagram handle? Uh, so ZenBike is my Instagram handle and then ZenBikeTours.com is the website. Yes, so okay. So check it out. Awesome. Any questions with trails, you let me know. 100% endorsed by Sunglass <laughs> Rob.